Hey everybody, it's the Nomad Brad, and today I wanna to show you how to optimize images on your web page in 30 seconds. Super easy and super important. So what we're gonna cover in the next minute here is just how to optimize any image on your website in a really easy way. It takes 30 seconds, maybe less, and it's going to have a lot of different benefits, including it will help you to improve your SEO rankings, because Google values page speed incredibly more and more uh, every year. It's coming into factors like SEO ranking, and it's also gonna improve your AdWords and Bing quality score. It's a factor in determining basically what they charge you for ads. So if you have faster loading speeds that on your page, um, if people don't have to sit there and wait for images to load, then the page is gonna load faster, the user is more likely to stay on the page and consume the content on your website, and that's gonna send a good signal back to Bing and AdWords that you have a quality site that's worth a discount on your clicks, so that's really important. Uh, it's gonna increase your page load speed, which is really important just for general user experience. A lot of people don't realize that they have huge images that are taking forever for people to load. Some people, they'll just leave if the website doesn't load within one or two seconds. Uh, plenty of studies have shown that. Most people just leave. So you, want, you don't want your images, you know, they might look nice on your computer if it's cached, so it's like saved to your computer. So it might load really fast for you, but somebody who's never gone to your web page, they're gonna have to load that image fresh. So you want to make sure they have to do as little work as possible. And you still want to make sure that your images have the quality that you want. And lastly, this is going to just save you some money on web hosting. Maybe it's not that important if you're just starting out and just got a website. But as you grow, you, it's going to become more and more important that you know you optimize, you take as little as little space as possible on your server and you use as little bandwidth as possible uh, people downloading stuff from your site. And a lot of times if you export an image from some program, they, they want to give you the best quality image so they don't optimize it at all. And so you'll have these huge images that you, could, you can optimize and you won't lose any noticeable quality at all. So this is definitely something you want to learn and it's super easy. So here, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, no, step one, go to a website called TinyPNG. Very recognizable from this panda. This site is amazing. And it's super duper easy. You can either click um, here or you can just drag and drop the image. So obviously this is best for just a few images at a time. Um, you can see it starts working immediately as soon as you drop your image. And it tells you how much space you're saving. So here uh, there's a good example this image if you can see is 3.1 megabytes and that was just directly exported out of a program called Jing that was just a screen capture of my computer there's no way there's no reason that 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 file needs to be 3.1 megabytes for a for an image that's huge and totally unnecessary and if I didn't know any better if I just uploaded it to my WordPress blog I would have no idea because it would all work and look fine for me, but I wouldn't realize that it would be slowing down people's experience on my web page and costing me money. So I'm gonna drop that image here. This one takes a little bit longer because it's so big, but 3.1 megs, um, you can kind of tell here, it's cutting out. So this one was 158.2 kilobytes and it got it down to 52. So that's about, yeah, 67%. I guess it tells you everything you need to know. Um, and then this big one, it's actually going to compress down 80%. And you can actually do, you can do several at a time. I'm not sure how many it allows you to do at a time, but let's just go, um, we'll just drag these five or six here and see if it lets us do all these. I think if you do uh, more than that, they will kind of let you know how to go about doing that. Um, and it looks like they do have, you know, an advanced feature, all your files at once. Maybe that's, maybe that's, um, something there. 
So yeah, you can see that you can upload multiples. You can easily save them all to your Dropbox, which is really cool. You can, if you up, if you upload multiples, you can click download all and you can download them all in one zip file, which is super handy. And yeah, check out this. Um, well, that's pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't even know about this. Apparently they have a WordPress plugin. So maybe, maybe I'll do a review on that and share it with you, share my experience. But this is pretty much it. This is how you save tons of space on your website and you get better quality scores. You get better SEO rankings just for spending a couple seconds. Whenever you put a new image on a blog article or whatever, just spend a couple seconds going in here, dropping it in. Uh, even if you have like a Shopify store, every if you're getting hundreds or thousands of people visiting your page every day and loading your product images, and, and there are five or six or 10 images of your product on there, each one could be costing you a second of load time or half a second and you stack five or six or 10 on there and that's gonna drop your conversions. That's actually gonna drop your sales because people are going to leave. So this is really especially important for Shopify store owners right now. Just optimize your images. It takes less than 30 seconds and it will save you money and increase your sales down the road. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. You can download them individually or all at once. So if you like this video or if you have another question you'd like me to answer about, uh, internet marketing, web building, anything digital marketing related, then go ahead and drop a comment. Um, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it. If you just click the like button, if you comment, share, or if you subscribe to my channel, that would be really amazing. I've got lots of tips, especially right now, working on a lot of AdWords and Bing ads tutorials. So if you've never, um, gotten going with checking those out, I highly suggest you look at the other videos on my channel so I can get you started. If you, even if you're a complete newbie and yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this tip really helped you out and I'll look forward to seeing you in another video in the future.